Hello YouTube. As promised, we're back to 164 and a roughly similar scale. And my one loyal viewer has requested some more 512 Berlinetta boxers. Uh, we will get there. We're going to get there by working our way through Ferraris. So this should be an exciting few videos. Um, if you like Ferraris, most people do. And we'll start off with the Ferrari 250 in a bunch of different forms. Uh, here's a collection of them. We'll zoom in, take a closer look at a few. First one here, this one is a 250 TR, Testarossa. This is a model by Kyosho. If you want to collect Ferraris in this scale, Kyosho is really your best bet. Kyosho has done a whole bunch of series of Ferraris. Some are better than others, but as a general rule, they're better than a lot of other models, especially similarly priced ones. So this Kyosho is pretty nice. Um, lens headlights, plain black interior, that doesn't bother me. The Kyoshos are scaled nicely and um, have pretty good detail, so I'm generally happy with them. So the uh, next 250 I've got to show you is the 250 GT California. This is another Kyosho. I have this one in two colors. The silver, which is almost kind of bluish, and black as well. I really like this one, especially the lights show up nicely on the black one, especially those, let's see, focus, those lights on the front. So that's Kyosho. Um, Hot Wheels made this car, but it's ridiculously expensive. I think it was just for Ferris Bueller is the only time it came out, so I don't have the Hot Wheels one. All right, going on with 250s, this is a classic vintage model from Lesney. This is a Ferrari 250 Lusso. It's got wire wheels. This example is in pretty good shape, actually. But these are easy to get. So I was lucky enough to have um, my artist friend Wayne repaint and clean up and detail one for me. So here's a Lusso, Lesney Lusso in maroon with a nice chromed grill. Let's see, the wheels are polished, the back's done up beautifully, even the base is cleaned. So that's a real treasure. Uh, the 250 that most people know the best because it's known as the most expensive car in the world is the 250 GTO. This is an old, old Johnny Lightning. It's beat up. It's got this opening hood with the motor in the front. And here is the Hot Wheels 250 GTO. As Hot Wheels Ferraris go, especially the mainline ones, this one is pretty nice. I can't complain about it. But compare it to the Kyosho and you see what I mean about collecting these Kyosho Ferraris. The Kyoshos are just beautiful. This one has so much more detail. It's scaled so much better than the Hot Wheels. All right, uh, the last 250 that I want to talk about is the 250 LM. And this is my favorite out of the whole 250 series. So we've got a whole bunch of them. We'll start with Hot Wheels. I have kind of mixed feelings about the Hot Wheels version of this. There's things I like about it, things I don't like about it. This is bluish one. Here's one in red. I don't know if you can see this, but in the back, there's the motor secret feature of this cast. One thing I don't like about these uh, these older Hot Wheels Ferraris 
um, is the wheels because it looks like low profile tires and of course this car from the 1960s would not have had low profile tires so here's another Hot Wheels basic model but this one the wheels have been replaced with these old Lesney wire wheels that are like the ones on the Lusso. That looks better, I think. This is a Hot Wheels, um, I guess this was from a Ferrari series with the co-mold wheels. Fairly attractive model. And then we've got Kyosho. Now here's a direct comparison. This was the first Kyosho 250 LM. This was a, um, either, I forget, this was either in the first Kyosho Ferrari series or this was in the Dido model kit series. In either case, it's not bad. It's certainly a little fancier than the Hot Wheels but it's not as good as Kyosho's later efforts. And here's the proof. This is the same car, 250 LM, from a later Kyosho series. Now look at how it's got the silver trim on the windows. These vents are done. The wheels are much better. The back's better. Everything about the model, and it's a completely new model. Totally different from this one and much nicer. And now we'll look at some vintage 250 LMs. This is Speedy, made in Italy. That's a nice one. And this is one of my favorites. I wish I had one of these in mintier condition. This is a tiny little car, I guess 166 maybe. That's made by Mini Dinky. And the back opens. Check this out. Is that nice or what? It's got detail on the back. It's very delicate though. And I don't know how old this thing is, but beautiful piece. And the last 250 LMs, I showed these in the concept car video. Uh, this was a concept by Pininfarina for a 250 LM Stradale with the back window and some other creature comforts. So this model is a uh, Husky. It's got nice wire wheels too. And this one is painted to look like the actual concept car by my artist friend, Wayne, who I mentioned before and will probably mention again. So there you go, let's zoom back out. That is Ferrari 250s and we'll move on to uh, next Ferraris chronologically in the next video. Thanks for watching.